Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn the proofs of trigonometric functions for allied angles. That is, we will learn why sin 90 degrees minus theta is cos theta, why cos 90 degrees minus theta is sin theta, why tan 90 degrees minus theta is cot theta. All the proofs we are going to learn in this class. This is not very easy to understand. How patients try to understand. Watch this video till the end. Now you observe this diagram. I considered a circle with center O and radius R. You observe here. This is the initial ray OA. I rotate OA through an angle theta. You observe here, I am rotating the ray OA so that the ray OP is formed. What is P? P is any point on the circle. I will take the coordinates of P as x comma y. Let P of x comma y is any point on the circle. I considered the point P as x comma y. You try to understand what happened. I considered a ray OA. This is the initial ray. I rotated OA through an angle theta. Then the ray OP is formed. I considered the point P as x comma y. Then the six trigonometric functions are defined like this. Sin theta equal to y by r. y means here y coordinate of this point P divided by r means radius of the circle. Cos theta is defined as x by r. X means X coordinate of point P divided by radius of the circle. Tan theta is defined as Y by X. Y means Y coordinate of this point divided by X means X coordinate of point P. You observe this diagram. Observe the ray OP. Okay. I got the ray OP dash. You observe here. I am saying that OP dash makes an angle 90 degrees minus theta with x axis. Please try to understand if this angle is same as this angle. See here this angle is theta and this angle this angle both are same. What do you say about this angle? Please try to understand. OP dash makes what angle with x axis? This is theta now. This full angle is 90 degrees. What will be this? What angle made by OP dash with x axis? That is 90 degrees minus theta. Please try to understand the ray OP dash makes an angle 90 degrees minus theta with x axis. Now you observe this diagram PQ is perpendicular to x axis. P dash Q dash is perpendicular to y axis. You observe these two triangles the triangle OPQ and the triangle O P dash Q dash. What is this angle? This angle is theta. What about this angle? This angle is also theta. You observe here, this angle is 90 degrees. Here, this angle is 90 degrees. If you observe here clearly, the triangles OPQ and OP dash Q dash are similar. We know that in similar triangles, corresponding sides are proportional. Now, you try to observe what are the corresponding sides. You observe OP is the side of this triangle. OP dash OP divided by OP dash. Corresponding side of OP to other triangle is OP dash equal to. What about OQ? OQ. What is its corresponding side in another triangle? OQ corresponding side is OQ dash equal to. Uh, what is remaining here? PQ. In this triangle, first triangle PQ. In second triangle, it is P dash Q dash. You observe. Corresponding sides are proportional. Now, you observe from this. Here, OP is what? OP is radius of this circle. What is OP dash? OP dash is also radius of this circle. OP is R. OP dash is also radius of the circle equal to OQ. OQ. Here you need to observe one very very important point. The point P is x comma y. 
What is x coordinate of point P? x coordinate is perpendicular distance from point to y axis. This length is x coordinate. It means OQ is x. Please try to understand. x coordinate is the perpendicular distance from point to y axis. This length is x. So OQ is what? OQ is x divided by OQ dash. I want to calculate OQ dash. So here I will keep this OQ dash like this only equal to PQ. What is PQ? PQ. You observe P is taken as x comma y. Y coordinate means perpendicular distance from point to x axis. This length is y. What is PQ? PQ is y divided by P dash Q dash. Okay. So here you check this R R will get cancelled. This will become 1. Now I will equate first one and second one. What you will get? 1 equal to x divided by o q dash and equate first one and last one you will get 1 equal to y divided by p dash q dash if we cross multiply what is o q dash o q dash is x if we cross multiply here what is p dash q dash p dash q dash is y now our main intention is we want to find the coordinates of p dash we want to find the coordinates of p dash how we will find the coordinates of p dash what is x coordinate x coordinate is the perpendicular distance from point to y axis this length is x coordinate what is p dash q dash we got that p dash q dash as y comma and what about y coordinate y coordinate is the perpendicular distance from point to x axis this length is y coordinate this length is same as oq dash what is oq dash oq dash we got it as x please try to understand this is important information if we rotate the initial ray through an angle 90 degrees minus theta then the coordinates of p dash are y comma x here you have to observe one very important very important point the coordinates of point p is x comma y the coordinates of p dash are y comma x now we will come to know what is sin 90 degrees minus theta you please try to understand sin 90 degrees minus theta how sin 90 degrees minus theta is defined sin 90 degrees minus theta is defined as here this is 90 minus theta is defined as y coordinate of the point p dash divided by radius of the circle please try to understand this carefully y coordinate of point p dash what is the y coordinate of point p dash y coordinate of point p dash is x x divided by radius of the circle radius of the you observe in the initially what is x by r x by r is cos theta so that's why we are writing it sin 90 degrees minus theta as cos theta now we will try to know what is cos 90 degrees minus theta cos 90 degrees minus theta cos 90 degrees minus theta is defined as what is the as per the definition x coordinate of point p dash x coordinate of point p dash divided by radius of the circle what is x coordinate of point p dash that is y divided by radius of the circle you observe initially what is y by r y by r is sin theta because of this reason cos 90 degrees minus theta is written as sin theta now we will learn about tan 90 degrees minus theta tan 90 degrees minus theta here tan 90 degrees minus theta as per the definition y coordinate of this point divided by x coordinate of this point y coordinate of this point is x divided by x coordinate of this point is y you observe here what is we got x by y we got x by y as cot theta initially from this we got now x by y is cot theta therefore tan 90 degrees minus theta is cot theta now we will see cot 90 degrees minus theta from the definitions of trigonometric functions cot theta cot theta cot 90 minus theta here cot 90 minus theta is defined as x coordinate of this point divided by y coordinate of this point 
what is x coordinate of this point it is y divided by y coordinate of this point y coordinate of this point is x what is y by x initially what is y by x y by x is tan theta that's why cot 90 minus theta we write it as tan theta similarly we will check cosecant 90 degrees minus theta what is cosecant 90 degrees minus theta it is defined as r radius of the circle r divided by y coordinate of this point what is y coordinate of this point y coordinate of this point is x what is r by x what is r by x r by x is secant theta r by x is secant theta now we will see what is secant 90 degrees minus theta what is secant 90 degrees minus theta at this point secant 90 degrees minus theta is defined as radius divided by x coordinate of point p dash what is x coordinate of point p dash that is y that equal to r by y what is r by y look here what is r by y r by y is cosecant theta therefore secant 90 degrees minus theta is cosecant theta 